Digital content creation, a job or hobby that has skyrocketed in the last handful of years, is a front runner in entertainment for the younger generations. YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and many other popular digital media and content creating apps are catching the attention of so many people everywhere around the world. From young kids to the older generation, digital content creation is something so many people are interested in starting. YouTube is the most popular and most used social media platform out there. With 37 million channels to subscribe to, 2 billion total viewers, 300 hours of uploaded video footage a day, along with the almost 5 billion videos watched on average every day, YouTube storms to the number one social media platform. The ability to record videos, stream, and even start a community draws the attention of so many people. Twitch, the most popular streaming platform, is another place where people are attracted to. Twitch attracts 15 million viewers and 1.1 million active streamers on average a day. People can donate, subscribe for extra perks like access to merchandise, custom emojis to comment, and other great viewer perks. Digital content creation is on the minds of many, many people. But the big question is, what's the process of digital content creation? 2005, YouTube's first video was created and uploaded publicly. What was the concept? Well, it was simply a man at the zoo. And that's, that's cool. How did we manage to get here, though? Where did these videos really come from? Cable television, where shows and movies aired for so many people everywhere. A good example of this is AFV, or better known as America's Funniest Home Videos. AFV was a very popular show where people would submit clips of funny videos they had captured, and then a live audience would watch, laugh, and vote for the best video. It first aired November 26, 1989. AFV was one of the earliest forms of digital content creation and virality we have seen before platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok came out. All forms of digital content creation have evolved so much since that first video in 2005. We've seen vloggers, sports talks, podcasts, unboxings, people tapping on random objects, gaming, and so much more. Well, all of these forms of content include one big thing. They all started with an idea. YouTube hosts so many different types of videos, which means the topics you can choose from are almost endless. You need to know how to build a new desk? YouTube has it. You want to see highlights of last night's NFL game? YouTube has it. You want to watch someone film themselves just talking on a plane? Guess what? YouTube has it. You can post almost anything you're interested in and make it content. Personally, I've always been interested in the gaming side of YouTube content. But how do I generate the idea for my content, and more importantly, how can you generate ideas for your content? Let's say you're starting a gaming channel. A lot of gaming channels on YouTube simply just follow the hype. Whatever big, new game title that comes out will usually take the internet by storm. For example, a game like Overwatch 2. See what games are popular and record gameplay of what everyone is watching. Other games like Minecraft, Mario, and League of Legends are all still really popular today, even though they've been around for a long time. Obviously, a lot of those games cost money. So what do you do if you can't afford the most popular game to date? Simple. Play games you like and already own and just record yourself playing it. If you really enjoy playing a non-popular video game, just record it. Recording what you like is the best way to start something on a digital media app. Take it from me, for example. I played two non-popular games that you don't see a lot on YouTube or other platforms, but I recorded them and posted them. It's as simple as playing a game you're familiar with and hitting that record button. Some creators actually got popular off of what they started themselves. Think about the first guy to post Call of Duty for content. Look at what he started. Another thing to keep note of is what materials you may need and where you can get those materials to help start your channel or profile. For gamers, Steam is a legendary platform to finding games to play. If you want to start a vlogging channel, find a solid camera or mic to carry around with you off of Amazon. You want to dedicate your channel to music reviews? A nice pair of headphones would do you the perfect job. Materials can be found very easily, and price doesn't matter. It's always good to start off small, small meaning a budget of $20 for equipment. Take Twitch streamers for instance, the smaller Twitch streamers have their low budget setup that gradually upgrades over time. A setup can range from one small monitor and a headset, to a triple monitor setup with a studio mic and a $100 pair of headphones. Materials aren't a very vital part of content creation. Though you need equipment to start, don't get locked on the most expensive parts, as more expensive doesn't always give a major boost. What good is all of this equipment without a strong topic to use it with? Recent events produce very popular titles across social media and digital content platforms. From the most recent MLB game to the newest mall opening in San Francisco, titles for content surround us just waiting to be used. Ideas are in the open, one Google search away, and even within your next Clash Royale game. With an idea finally set into your head, let's set the idea into motion. On a computer, with a camera, on your phone, and even on your 3DS, recording can take place on whatever and wherever. 
Each device has different ways of filming and recording, which means your ability to get your topic recorded is so much easier than it may first seem. Let's say you don't own a fancy gaming computer, or a nice laptop, or even a small film camera. What can you use? Your phone camera is basically all you need to record certain videos. If you're going to start vlogging, your phone camera does the trick. You want to film you opening up your new shoes? Boom, your phone can do just that. The camera app on your phone can lead you in the right direction and help you officially start recording content. What if you want to start a gaming channel and filming your computer screen with your phone just doesn't cut it for you? Computers host so many different filming softwares that perfectly record your computer screen. Loom Screen Recorder, Filmora, Movavi Screen Recorder, Cam Studio are all perfect examples of great screen recording softwares that don't cost a lot of money at all, some even being free. All you have to do is download and install the softwares, open it on your desktop, and just like that you are ready to record your footage. In my opinion, the best screen recording software out there is Open Broadcast Software, or better known as OBS. OBS is a great way to start your content creation as it's super easy to use, set up, and record on. Steering back towards the vlogging side of content creation, let's say your phone is not a viable option to record on either. Your phone is old, or the camera is broken. What can you do? Film cameras. Film cameras are a fantastic way to record, and also the best way to record depending on your topic. Film cameras can be expensive, but referring to my statement earlier, don't get locked in the most expensive parts as more expensive doesn't always give a major boost. A cheap camera definitely isn't a bad investment. You can find these cameras at Best Buy, on Amazon, Walmart, Target, practically any online or walk-in store around you. GoPros, stereo cameras, single and twin lens cameras, box cameras, and many other types of cameras are great film cameras that can start off your channel. These cameras can even be used as a face cam on your gaming videos. The screen recording softwares can use film cameras as a source to help with the recording. If you use a film camera to record your videos, there are some very useful products that can make the recording go much easier. Tripods are game changers when it comes to filming videos on cameras. Tripods are easy to set up and hold the film camera on the top of it. You have the ability to pan and tilt the camera while the tripods keep the camera still and stable during the recording process. Cube lights are lighting products that, if it wasn't already obvious, help with lighting up your face or what you are recording in front of you. There are many other different products that help with lighting, those being ring lights, LED tube lights, lighting stands and booms, light meters, and many more. With the softwares and cameras though, you need audio. Whether it be gaming, vlogging, or any other form of content, you're going to need audio to make your viewer watch. Mics are a vital part of content creation. Microphones can be used for reasons like your voice, background audio, and music. There are so many different types of microphones made by many, many different companies. You have vocal mics, studio mics, mics that clip onto your shirt, mics that hang from arm stands, and many other types of mics. A simple hookup to your recording device is all it takes to start using your new microphone. With the PC software is like OBS, the microphone can be connected via a source through your PC. Everything can be very easily set up once you understand the equipment. With all of your equipment and softwares to record on, all you need to do is hit the record button and film your video. Would you look at that, an MP4 file has been successfully created and you recorded it all by yourself. You watch through it and make sure it's a nice recording. You notice though, a few mishaps that you want to take out. But how can you do that? Easy, it's time to do the most important part, editing. Editing is what brings your video all together. You can take stuff out you don't want, add stuff that you think would make your video better, and move clips around to your liking. On a good PC or even a smaller laptop, editing softwares can be easily downloaded and accessed to help improve your content. With most editing softwares, you can download the free trial, which is very much recommended to make sure you enjoy using the editing software. Most softwares are expensive, so you need to make sure you like the software you are editing on. Explore all the different tricks you can use in the software, and watch videos on how to improve your editing skills. Though it's one of the most expensive, Final Cut Pro is a perfect editing software to upgrade to further down the road. Final Cut Pro is a prime example of editing software doing everything you need to do and more. Let's talk about some starter software, some cheaper editing programs that can give you a boost in producing your content. I really think iMovie would probably, probably be the best, but I'd also would tell kids using a PC, find something that fits what you or what you want. Filmora is a great starting software that's cheap and very easy to use. Filmora can be used on your phone or mobile device and offers a solid editing app while you're on the go. Filmora provides titles, and end credits, different packs like the ability to add animals or motions, and many other helpful features. VideoPad Video Editor is another cheap and useful starting software to help boost your content. VideoPad lets you see your project nice and large in a timeline to better improve your editing on your projects. It's very easy to see what you are editing and what you can do all within the software. The program I use and really love the most is Movavi. 
I definitely recommend Movavi Video Editor as it's super simple to use and allows you to do many helpful and useful things to make your content so much better. The most expensive the software can get up to is only $60, which is great for someone who just recently started. Movavi has a big timeline where you can see your project, music, motions, stickers, or emojis to add in, and so many other awesome useful editing features. With our new editing software, how do we start editing our recorded video? Once you open up your software, depending on which one it is, you may have to open up a new project file or simply let it load. Once you have your project file open and ready, you must import the mp4 or whatever other file it may be into the program, whether that be dragging it in, importing it to the software, or any other way you can get it in and start editing. Once it's in, you can start doing whatever you want to make sure the video is edited to your liking. Editing can take anywhere from 1 minute to 10 hours. Depending on how long the video is you are editing, you could be on the software for hours at a time. One thing to keep note is that you need a lot of patience during editing. You may not perfect the video the first time through. You may need to go back and rewatch parts you want to edit again. Editing can be very complicated as there are so many different ways to edit film. So every time I sit down to edit, I remind myself to be patient. It can take a lot of time to cut the clips, delete the clips, move the clips, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with clips. The world of editing provides so many different and interesting features and styles of your video. You can turn a boring gameplay video into an action-packed and exciting adventure. Editing is what really leads you to becoming a content creator. If you are streaming, however, you can't really edit. Streamers don't really have the need to edit as they are live. There's nothing they can edit. The only thing a streamer may edit is their appearance and what they are showing to their stream. They can add donation boxes, subscriber boxes, progress bars, and other cool add-ons to their stream. Editing is a lot more than cutting clips and moving clips. This is what opens up your path for an interesting video. Congratulations, your video is edited. It's all cleaned up. Parts are cut where they needed to be, funny edits are added in with funny mp4 clips, it looks perfect. But now there's one last question that needs to be answered. How do I make the video look appealing? Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to your attention what can help that very issue. Thumbnails. What do you see before clicking on that new YouTube title? Oh yeah, it's a thumbnail. Thumbnails can be very important in the digital content creating world. Thumbnails are what make your viewers' attention get drawn to your newest post or stream. Um, when making a thumbnail, uh, the main objectives are usually trying to get someone to click on it. Thumbnails can be almost anything. They can be exactly what the video is about or exactly the opposite, which is known as clickbait. You can make a thumbnail in so many different ways to a point where it's almost hard to make a bad one. A simple screenshot with an edited facial expression will draw the attention of so many people. For example, let's say you just edited a nice Minecraft survival video that you want to post on your gaming channel. What can that thumbnail look like? Let's say during your gameplay you wandered into a cave. That's a great background for your thumbnail. Take a screenshot of the cave and start from there. Once you have your background, you can add in many different features that make your video pop, but also tell your viewer what they are about to watch. So what I like to do is I like to find images, say I'm like trying to make a thumbnail for a game that I've been playing, and I will take a screen cap of the game. I'll use that as my background, and then maybe I'll have the little like main character somewhere in the, in the picture. For your Minecraft video, add in a diamond sword you created in the video, or maybe a classic arrow pointing to your big and beautiful house you built. Thumbnails can be very difficult or very easy to create as well. As like many other parts of digital content creation, there's so many different things you can do with thumbnails. Something to note is that the more you add to a thumbnail, it doesn't necessarily make it stand out more. Though it may look a lot different than the others, it might drive people away as they may think it's clickbait or too much. Add whatever you think is necessary without going overboard. A simple background with a main character featured in your video is perfect. And sure, you can add a little text at the top to give more information. Thumbnail making can be an art and take an hour, or simple and take five minutes. Another great thing about thumbnails is the fact that you can make them on almost any device. Thumbnails can be easily fit for your comfort zone, which makes your chances of drawing people's attention so much better. Everything is done. Whether it's to start up your stream, upload your first YouTube video, create your first TikTok or Instagram reel, you have all the bits and pieces to put it all together. Digital content creation is on the uprise and dragging people into its universe. So many different videos and streams are being released every day across so many different platforms. Digital content creation is an art, and making your own content is so easy. This process sparks creativity and new possibilities that you didn't know you'd ever see or hear about. I'd like to thank you for following along with the process of digital content creation, and maybe soon you will enter the world of digital content creation yourself, and a new love will spark for something new.